All right, chronic kidney disease presents a two-headed problem. The first problem is prevalence. The National Kidney Foundation estimates that 30 million Americans have it. And since it's chronic, many of them will require a kidney transplant. And as Fox 61's Tim Lammers reports, that leads to problem number two. Just as the Red Cross is always looking for more blood donors, the world needs more kidney donors as well. There are a lot of people waiting for organ transplants, but there's not enough donors that are signed up to be donors. So unfortunately, every year there are a lot of people that die while waiting for a life-saving organ. Dr. Sherry Yee is a transplant nephrologist at Hartford Hospital. She said it's easy to sign up to donate a kidney, just as it is with other organs. We can have people sign up on their driver's license to become an organ donor or become a living donor now mm -hmm. and donate a kidney now. And what makes donating a kidney special is that you don't have to die first in order to save somebody else's life. You have two kidneys, you know, you certainly can, if you're healthy, you certainly can live with one kidney. We have um, a swap program, it's called an exchange program, where if you are not directly blood type compatible, we put you into this national registry and we find somebody that is compatible with you and you can do a swap and get a living kidney that way. In fact, just last year, doctors at Yale New Haven Hospital managed to perform a nine-way kidney swap involving 18 patients. It was the largest swap in Connecticut history. So if you want or need to be a living donor, there's an easy way to find out if you're healthy enough to donate. If somebody wants to be a living donor, they can call our program at Hartford Hospital and talk to one of our living donor coordinators. Of course, the perfect solution is to never develop chronic kidney disease in the first place. And two-thirds of cases in the U.S. are tied to either diabetes or high blood pressure. In other words, a whole lot of cases are preventable. I'm Tim Lammers, Fox 61 News.